What's up guys, leaving the marina for day two on Lake Fork trip. Man, we got Jared up front and we are cruising out of here. It is uh, about 6 a.m. and we're hoping to get on a little top water bite. If not, they throw some big swim baits, throw some big jigs, throw some big worms, have a lot of fun today. Uh, we stayed at the little motel on site last night. We hit a couple stumps yesterday. First time out on Lake Fork, man. We're ready for day two. Let's get into it. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I just snagged on something while we were moving. Are you throwing that saucy swimmer, Devin? Yeah, that's probably really good. All right, y'all, we made our way into the first little pocket out here. We're hitting this wall all the way down. Got some docks, got some trees sticking up out of here on perspective mode, trying to see if we don't see something just cruising along right out in front of us. There goes Jay's bait. <laughs> There's a fish about, about 15 feet in front of us. He's oh, even coming wow. closer. Yep, there. straight ahead, straight ahead. All right, all right, they're here. There you go. Who's hanging out? Switching things up a little bit from yesterday, y'all. Jared is seeing them all over on the Panoptics right now, cruising in front of us. I went with a Shad Chatterbait, do something a little bit different. I was throwing a lot of natural colors yesterday, but this, oh wow, yeah, this should get munched. Chalky over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. We landed you. We landed you. We landed you. Yes, sir. Oh my god, just sitting. Devin! <laughs> They're on white Texas rigs. <laughs> I told you I just saw one falling in your zen. It got heavy. I pulled up and I was like, I don't even know if I'm just on a stump right now. <laughs> that was funny. Dude, oh where, no, the cord didn't save. Though. Hopefully your GoPro was recording. Maybe. Oh, mine is? Yeah, yeah, Because mine uh, didn't save that clip. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got the clip. All right, guys, so my GoPro did not save that clip, unfortunately, even me talking about this fish catch, but I believe we got Jared's GoPro footage that you just saw of the catch. What we're going to do is show you this little bad boy right here. First fish of the morning. Check him out. My first ever Lake Fork Bass, you guys, 7.48 a.m. Sun is like just peeking up over this little corner right here. We had just dropped Devin off to hit the restroom real fast to this little RV park. And then Jared and I, he kind of said, let's go hit these stumps over here. So we come on over. I cast the chatterbait out. We're talking. I don't even remember what we were saying. And then boom, it's like dead stick. The chatterbait got hit off the bottom. And I just kind of lean into it with that like soft tip rod. And we ended up pulling him in the boat. So we got lucky on that one, guys. But uh, hopefully there's some more right in here in the same area. We're going to see if we can't link up. Let's get on these things. Y'all, we gave it another half hour, but we are now trolling out to the uh, running lane. We're gonna cruise up north a little bit to an area of the lake we have not ventured out to yet. So uh, let's see what else we can't find out here. Now, there's only a few places that you actually wanna run on this lake. We were literally running over stumps last night in the dark on the way back home. You gotta be so careful. We were in 40 foot of water hitting trees. The motor got shook. I mean, it's ridiculous out here. So anyways, they got a couple lanes lined with buoys. That's really the only spot you wanna go full tilt unless you know this place or you've got the end sights. Like these guys are just running out in the middle of nowhere, fiberglass boat, boom, -hoo! who knows what could happen. Man, this place is crazy. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. No wake under the bridge, y'all. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, rolling up on a little windblown point. It goes from like 23 or 30 feet right down to seven. We're gonna hit this little area up and see what happens. Yeah, Citizen. Yep. Citizen. No yes. way. Yes. No way. No way. Yes. No way. Hold on. 
Hurry, hurry, hurry. 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 Hurry, 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 hurry. That's a nice one. Hurry. 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 Yes. That's no question fish. about it. That's that's a freaking. <laughs> its eyes are <laughs> bulging like crazy. No way. That, that, no. Look at those might... bulging eyes. <laughs> that might be <laughs> insane, dude. I think that's a six. I think it's for sure a six. No, I think it's that a... is so much bigger than the six. I don't know, 20, dude. It's twenty five inches. Wait, wait, no, wait, it's not, right is it? There. That fish is twenty five inches. Do I Put dip them on the floor. it? Do I dip? Yep. No, close your mouth. Right, we're 23. 23. Okay, I'm the full should... size of the board. Oh if you God. if you do not let that thing flop out of your hands, Devin. We haven't even waited. So yeah, the yet. jaws of life on that that <laughs> <laughs> on the Nuts. on the silver, the old trusty. It was the old trusty, dude. It wasn't even the new one. On Frankenstein. That's literally the one we rigged back up in Austin. Uh, Whoa, that is a bigger fish than I thought. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Put it on the scale. Is it zeroed? Yeah. Hold on. Give it one more dip. I'm, yep. gonna, I'm not gonna let it go. You, I trust you. Look yeah. at the colors yeah. of it. It is just the so most crazy. beautiful bass. It's like it's almost like the black. inside. It's all black and stuff. Yeah. Like the, the whole mouth. What? All right. Six, Six eight, eight one. one. New PB. <laughs> nice. New PB on Lake Fork. Oh. Devin on her new PB. That was her first yeah. bite. Is that your first bite this whole trip? Yes. Nothing yesterday. Nothing for her yesterday. First bass. We've been constantly dipping this fish in the water too, guys. She is like, she's in the, she's been. I feel like this is an older wow, fish. Wow, she is well eyes. taken care of. That's an older fish right there. Oh my gosh. It's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs>First big move of the morning, we were in some shallow areas and now we're fishing 20 feet of water. We moved out to an entire another area of the lake. We are having some fun, y'all. Second fish of the day, let's get this top five. I think it could be heavy today. So I was like, we the net, the trying. net. I saw you cranking real slow and you had your rod down and I was like, I couldn't tell and then I saw it boil at the surface. I was like, oh yeah, let's get the net real quick. <laughs> well, I was just like, I wanted to slow down because I was like, I can't bring it up too fast with you guys getting the net out and everything. Ooh, citizens and battle shads there. back in the water right now. <laughs> this dude has been through hell. This is the one that literally ripped down the center down in Austin and what we mended it, it together. Is it? This is the silver working class zero citizen six and he's got no eyes. He has caught so many fish, and this dude is my tried and true, just go-to bait. Crazy. We did measure it. Okay. Yeah, I can't. people are gonna talk crap, but I wouldn't even, they can't write you a ticket from a video, can they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just be careful, some shit? that's a set of fish. So. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, dude. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, thanks for that though. I appreciate right. it. Right here, How right. is the average person supposed to know that? All right guys, we fished here for just a little bit longer. What we heard from my good buddy Cody, he hit us up as soon as we put the story post out, is that uh, fish on Lake Fork, I don't know if it's 16 or 18 inches, but between that and 24, it's considered a slot fish. You're not supposed to, within that slot, that length, actually put those fish in the live well. We were completely clueless. It's only thanks to good friends like him that we stumbled upon that information. We're gonna get this fish out of the live well and back in the water. That way these fish, there's ever, you're never putting them in jeopardy essentially is what's going on here. You don't put them in the live well, don't jeopardize their health, you get them right back in the water. They can grow to be those huge lake fork tanks. So we're gonna do just that, but I also just logged on to the Vessel View app, that Mercury app, because we had that module installed in the motor when we picked up the boat. I'm just curious on our maintenance, like if we're through the break-in period yet, you see us running out here, but we're keeping it at 4,500 RPMs or below except for one minute every 10 minutes it says you can go full throttle so uh, yeah I just wanted to see where we're at we're at 7.8 hours on the engine and uh, first service is at 10 or 20 hours I got to check the paperwork back at home and that's just a quick little update I think we're gonna move spots y'all but let's get Big Bertha back in the water man new PB so happy for Devin she's behind the camera right now let's get a couple more shots and let this thing go Trimmer down, y'all. On to the next spot.
Y'all, we hit the low bridge for a second. Uh, we saw tons of bait, like 10, 15 feet down. We were cranking, cranking, cranking. No dice, so we're gonna hit another point. It is 11 a.m. and we are feeling the Texas heat. We're about to run in and grab some lunch. Let's let little guy go real quick before we run back to the ramp. Feel him like your baby. Yeah, oh my well, God. He's he is actually rabbit. pretty fat. Oh, jeez. Oh. Important a little bit of yesterday's footage. We are also waiting on Jared. He's going to grab lunch. We are man in the ship holding it down. Uh, just getting ready to edit some of this footage and then get back out there. I'm gonna tie a couple more things on, probably some Mondo worms and just uh, get prepped to fish deep again. We're probably gonna work some more points this evening, look for some of those stumps and just have at it. Look at all these boats out here just chilling. Everyone's fighting over the ramp at the moment. These slips are a value. Eight bucks, man, forget about it. Y'all, we are lunched up and ready for round two. We are getting out. It is now 151, probably even hotter. All right, y'all, we're making a move. Devin's gonna run us down fork for the first time. We just rolled up to PB Point, y'all. This is where them seven to 14ers lie, boys. Her first time really like gunning it and then trimming up the motor to really get on plane and really start flying, man, that was cool. We've been approaching all these thick stumps, of course, throughout our Lake Fork journey, you guys, and what we do is we try and back off a little ways away from them and then just drop the trolling motor down, trim up the motor, and try and be as safe as possible. Um, you know, we hit a couple stumps last night. It's gonna happen if you're out on this lake, but you can avoid it if you're not just cruising right on into these stumps, man, so. GoPro, start recording. What are we throwing? We got all kinds of stuff. We got we got some swim baits, we got some more swim baits, we got some swim baits, some swim baits. We got some cranks, <laughs> we got some big old Mondo worms. I don't know why I haven't thrown this yet. Creep this through. Shad, big old crank. Come on, tactical bass, and don't steer me wrong. <laughs> this round again oh 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 we're on he's huge Woo! <laughs> oh so is this a white bass <laughs> gotcha it was right as i was coming up with it too yep i'm feeling confident in the crankbait now he said don't mess with me all right then that was pretty cool little buddy <laughs> Quick intermission, y'all. Devin and Jared are all over these crappie, man. <laughs> they are dropping down the death stalkers. This stump right here below the surface has them crawling all over it. That stump right there, you guys. It's got them. Some big stuff coming, huh? Oh! Yes! No way. Yes! 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 Come here! Let's go Alright! <laughs> oh man, look at look at that on that 10,000 fish death stalker! Alright little dude. Peace. Just after 5 p.m. you guys, what we're gonna do is make our way down even further to some spots we have not traveled to just yet. We wanna hit some more points, y'all. The crappie fishing was fun with live scope. Devin snagged the one. Let's make a move. Do you wanna fish this little concrete? Look Pull her back and I'll get it. Yeah, let me bump her on up, get us over there, and then I'll do the soft, slow motor. Wait, we're good. Now this looks familiar, guys. This looks like the type of stuff we usually hit. Yeah. The little guys have got to be in here, at least. Got him! All right, that's what we're talking about, man. Woo! That's a fork fish right there. Back in the groove. First spot on fork that we find that looks this good uh, when, when you're talking about small bass fishing. Dope little buddy, we see you later homie. Gotta hit these man, so sick. This looks juicy. All right y'all, we're making one of the last moves for the evening. It is about 7 p.m. and given the limited amount of lighting we got this last hour and a half before sunset, I think what we're gonna do is work our way across the lake slowly. I see stumps everywhere because there's a juicy looking point over here, y'all. It extends way out and it goes from seven feet to 26 feet like that. We're gonna see if these bass aren't hanging out on that drop. And I think we're gonna wear it out, man. This is also where my buddy Tate caught that almost 10 pounder just yesterday. So uh, wish us luck, man. We're going for bigs right here on the grand finale of the Lake Fork trip, man. And guys, also right off this point that we're gonna hit, it says stumps. So uh, we've got a good mixture of structure, I'm sure. Speaking of, there's stumps everywhere. <laughs> if, we, if we want to go to PB Point, I'm all about it, but... Are, are we all in favor? All right, well, let's do that then. 
Guys, we're making the last few casts with the big old swim baits during this epic Lake Fork sunset. Just want to thank you guys for sticking around for this. We are about to head out because uh, as much as we'd love to stick it out for another hour, really catch a, really have the opportunity to catch another big fish, we need to hit these boat lanes, get to the ramp because it's probably going to be crowded. We really want to clean her off, put the cover on, get everything cleaned out before our long drive home. And of course, I've still got to edit actually this video on the drive home to post for you guys. We're still doing one a days out here. But do not forget to go check out Jared. I'm going to put his social medias down in the description, man. He's been tearing it up with us. He was the one who caught the first fish and he's got us into <laughs> all these big hole swim baits man yes. so we do appreciate it it was a killer time it was so much fun and uh it's not over yet we got to go get over to the ramp and uh you know we might hit a stump or two the adventure might not be over i'll see you in a minute so right around here is where we stayed and then the first day we kind of explored all the way over here over here there's the bridge we took some time spent around uh, made our way into a couple of those cuts and then the next day the second day that we went out we went straight across, went into a lot of these cuts. You can kind of see our trails went out on different points and then ended up making our way all the way past the second bridge, which I believe is right about here. Hit some other points and then, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. All the way out of uh, where we went these past two days. We are back here, we're getting this thing emptied out and I'm telling you what, we've got gear galore. We are also gonna shine her down. We're gonna put the cover on, that way when we get home we can just leave her be, take everything inside and call it a night, man. So we'll catch up with you back at the house. It's been a ton of fun, guys. See you in a minute. All right, y'all, and that brings our Lake Fork trip to a close, man. What an awesome two days. Even though the first day was really just getting it figured out, highly recommend taking a guide out there as we might even plan on doing in the future. There's just so much of it that is left unexplored. There's no way you could dial that lake in overnight. I mean, you got to spend some quality time out there. And so major credit to all the guys that are out there diligently catching big fish because it is tough. We give it to you. Next time we take our boat out there, I may purchase like a map card or you guys tell me what you can do to get like maybe on my Garmin unit. You have like trails that you can follow so that you know where you can run aside from just the boat lane because I hear there's some other places like straight out from the marina we could have gotten across the lake really quick but we were just trying to keep it cool and uh, yeah we just had a blast man can't wait to go back out to fork again in the future you guys I hope you enjoyed this little series we'll see you guys on the next video tomorrow man peace out <gasps>